What's up, YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon, and you know, today, a um, little change in environment. There's no fancy green screen today, but you know, that's a you know general conversation that I can actually finally focus and and have without opening packs. Um, yeah, you've seen on the channel that we've been opening quite a few um, Champions Path. Um, other than opening cards, you know, this channel also talks about possible investments and some sort of knowledge to get the public to know about you know what's going to happen. Well, here's the thing. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box is actually heavily allocated um, in the first wave. So apparently, for those who does not know, uh, a lot of places will be getting two waves of the Elite Trainer Box for Champions Path. The first, rate, the first wave will be at release, which is September 24th, and the second wave, which is September 25th, sorry. And the second wave will be later in October, end of October, early November. So, yeah, apparently that's happening. Now, the problem is how much were allocated for the first wave. I can tell you that, you know, from some US stores, what they've been telling me is that they've been allocated around 10 to 20 percent. And for a lot of the Canadian stores, they've been allocated with less than 10 percent, 5 to 10 percent. So, at release, the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box will definitely shoot up in price. It would definitely go up into the 150 or maybe even 180 range on release. And I think within the month of September and October, depending on if the second wave is sufficient, um, you know, we're going to see further increase of this hyped up um, set. And I mean, a lot of the pin box as well, from what I heard, is also getting uh, allocated. So that's why I feel like that, you know, this set is going to be crazy difficult to find. And I think it's going to be crazy high in terms of price. Um, so a lot of people are asking, you know, is this going to be like Hidden Fates? Is this going to be like the Charizard in Hidden Fates, where, you know, a few months after the release, the price of that card actually dropped around. 180, 200, and, or even 200, 250. To be very honest, I don't think it will. I actually don't think that Champions Path will drop in price anytime soon. The reason being that um, a lot of people are sending this to PSA. They want to grade it, they want to flip it. But PSA is being actually quite slow. So what we're going to see is people sending in Express. And, you know, they're going to get it quickly and it's going to fetch a very nice and high price on eBay. And then people will think that, hey, you know, there's such a high value in that card. Um, you know, they're going to pay a higher price to buy the packs and try to break it open and look for the Charizard and the PSA, fetch a higher price. So I think that this cycle will go on for a while. And unless Pokemon reprints a lot of or have like many, many print wave of the pin boxes and the collection box, I seriously don't think that this set will go down in price anytime soon. And as for the Elite Trainer Box, I just simply think that um, they won't reprint the Elite Trainer Box. I think it's Wave 1, Wave 2, that's it. Because, you know, printing Elite Trainer Box is actually quite difficult. There's just so many components that you have to kind of combine together before you can make an Elite Trainer Box. So definitely what I would suggest is buy a loose pack of Champion's Path, keep the Elite Trainer Box sealed, and if you want to break open packs, break open the pin box, the collection box, or whatever. Just don't break open the Elite Trainer Box because I think that is the, 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 the one chase item in the set. In previous Hidden Fate set, I mean, you have the Pokeball collection, you have the Rayquaza Super Premium collection, but for Champion's Path, I mean, that, that, that chase seal product is always going to be an Elite Trainer Box. So I would definitely suggest people keeping that sealed. Um, yeah, so for the price um, of... Charizard. As of the time filming this video, um, Troll and Toe actually did a pre-order um, for $500 for the Shiny V and I think $300 for the uh, Hyper Rare. <clears throat> I think it's a little pricey, it's a little high for the Shiny V, but the Hyper Rare around $300, $280, $300 or $350 is actually a quite an acceptable price. So <clears throat> I think that's the price range that it's going to sit at. And actually, it will rise from that price point. I don't think you can actually get any under 300 US dollar. So simply, it's just not possible. 
but we will we will see more packs open and I feel the pull rates are actually quite low um, it's very similar to the hidden image Charizard but the um, print run or the print quantity seems to be a lot less than hidden fates so you know we're gonna see what happens uh, later on so you know basically I just want to update you that you know it will be heavily allocated you definitely want to line up at Target Walmart or these box retailer trying to get a hold of these products because the elite trainer box to be very honest it's, it's really out of reach it, it is really out of reach for a lot of people um, and yeah that's a that's my update